Okay, so this is our old obstacle avoidance bot. And you can see on the top there how I used relays to control the direction of the two motors in the back. They take up too much room and make that loud clicking noise. So I got rid of them. I wanted something that didn't require its own power and made less noise. I had a bunch of resistors, transistors, and diodes. So this is what I came up with. I don't know a lot about circuits, so there's probably some unnecessary stuff here, but it worked, so this is what I went with. I'll show you how it works. Starting with the inputs up top, this is ground. This is the one of the signal sources from the Arduino. This is a line to the battery positive side. This is another separate signal from the Arduino. And here is the negative side of the battery. This is the same signal from the Arduino as the signal 2 on the other side, S2. And here is a motor lead. And here is the same S1 signal from the Arduino. And the other side of the motor. All right, power comes in from the positive battery connection. It comes down to the transistors and waits for a signal, in this case S1, which pulls it through the transistor and up to the motor. We exit the motor, power tries to get the ground, but it can't. That's what all these diodes are for. So instead, our same S1 pulls us up through and back to the battery. So if we want to switch the direction of the motor, we come down and turn on S2, which pulls us through to the other side of the motor. And if we try to get the ground coming out, again the diode stops us. So we come back down and S2 again pulls us through and back up to the battery. Successful switch. Time to put it all together. First parts on the board. Then a little soldering, of course. And here it is all finished, the front side and the back. Then I made two of them, one for each motor and stacked them on top of each other. Then we plug it all in, put it all together, and it's on to programming the Arduino. So all we have is a bunch of if statements and a random function. I have a lot of inputs because I didn't feel like splicing any more wires, but nothing fancy. Alright, so here's my little test box area. Everything works pretty well, besides the slight pull to the left. One of the motors just spins a bit quicker uh, on the same voltage, so I'll play with that later. But everything else works good. You'll notice it get a bit caught up in the corners here and there. That's because of that random function, but it always seems to work itself out. I'll probably do some more tests, but after a few hours, the battery powering the Arduino was still pretty much full and it was just chugging along. Next I hope to test through the weekend and hopefully get a total run time. But yeah, for now that's it. I'll let the time lapse run a bit here and it will be here for you forever. You're all amazing.